Hey, what's up guys? Brownie here coming to you with some more AFK Journey stuff and today we're going to do some more Dream Realm. We've got the Lone Gaze boss and he's he's a bit of a challenge. He, the RNG behind this fight is ridiculous. You can get such a high score one round and then the next round you're you're 20 million less damage or 30 million less damage. All it all depends on the dodge that this boss does. So He's a, he's a bit of a pain in the butt. Now, the team we're going to use is the Pride Win team that's on the website right now. If you go to the website, and it, there's two teams. It's one that is suggested without Rainier at Mythic Plus, and then one that is with uh, Mythic Plus Rainier. So we're using the second one, obviously, because we do have a Mythic Plus Rainier. And um, I'll show you the team really quick. So And then we'll talk about the whole principle behind it and everything. So we've got Smokey, Thorin, Coco, Odie, and Rainier. Now, Odie is obviously the big damage dealer. He does magic damage, so does Smokey, and also Rainier does too. Now, those three are all going to be contributing to Crescent Spell, and all the magic damage that they are doing will basically generate an uh, energy orb that gets thrown at the boss and does some extra damage. It's a pretty cool artifact and has been the best one so far for me. Uh, now remember, this is only day three of Song of Strife for me. Other other guys, other YouTubers, and other people on earlier servers will be much stronger at their point right now. So you might see different teams than what I am showing you at the moment. Because the stronger you get, the more offensive you can go. Anyway, the whole point behind this team is pretty much to protect Rainier. And whereas Rainier's not doing any damage, really. Like, he's doing some, but he is enabling your team to do a ton of damage. So you, you want to protect him because he's going to also be taking all the attacks from the wolves that get summoned from this boss. So the boss is going to howl. And there's going to be a bunch of mist that comes out, and then these wolves are going to attack. And they're all going to focus on one hero. So if you can't keep that hero alive, and they die, your your fight's basically going to fall apart. Because the wolves are then going to go to the other heroes one by one, just killing them all. And before you know it, your whole team's gone. So that's why we're running two healers, and one that does a bunch of damage reduction. And that's also why you connect Rainier to Thorin. Because you just you need that extra damage reduction that 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 provides, so so yeah. And then Odie's getting the Rainier buff. Uh, throwing Odie in here to the boss is not a big deal. He survives plenty well. So yeah, let's go ahead and start this. That's pretty much all that's behind this team. And let's see what happens. See if we can high roll some big hits that don't get dodged by this freaking boss. <laughs> So, our best hit so far is like 354 million, something like that. I'm not, not sure off the top of my head, I can't remember, but I know we can do better. I know we can. So, if you see all these wolves, they're all hitting Rainier. He has a bleed on him right now. There's like a little red aura kind of around his chest, and that's from those wolves, and it would normally kill Rainier very fast, but if you got him connected to Thorin and Coco's got a buff on him, because Coco's Coco basically does her active every single time right before the wolves get summoned, so he has a ton of damage reduction to deal with those wolves, and it, it really helps. Then he gets that shield at the end, and yeah, everything just kind of clicks together and does really well. So we've got about 21 seconds to do 40-ish million damage. I don't know. Can we do it? Okay, we're getting close. Come on, let's get some big hits in there. Don't dodge this at all, boss. Four seconds. No, we're not going to break our record. That's mm, that's rough. That's rough. But, hey, it is what it is. Our, uh, our best hit was like 81%. The damage was actually 354 million, yeah. So, we're... Currently, I think we're like right on the edge of being top 20. Oh, we're 21. That sucks. Who beat us out? 
who replaced us in here. Oh, I don't know these guys. These are fr from the uh, new servers that joined the district. But anyway, our our guild is doing very well. Um, we have like six people in the top 20 or something like that. And then the number one spot is our guild leader. And then number four is another one of our, our guys. So we're doing pretty good as a guild and um, I'm pretty happy about it. So that's really cool. And yeah, that's I guess that's going to be about it for today's video. Just a quick Dream Realm one talking about the team and uh, how it works. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.